Hi guys, we're going to be playing through um, Evil Resident, sorry Resident Evil, um, and we're going to be playing as Jill Sandwich and her partner in crime, Barry Shitter, um, as quick as you can. So this is going to be kind of a speed walkthrough, but it will really help you out uh, if you're playing these for the first time anyway, just saves all the backtracking. So the first thing you want to do is when you're not um, zombieing, is to unequip your gun, because you just run faster. I'm skipping all the cutscenes, but if you want to enjoy the rich, detailed, um, robust story, as if written by an eight-year-old child, then you can do. Um, I'm going to be cruising through it because you just want to know how to do this stuff. You don't want to watch the videos necessarily. I assume. Anywho, I'll be chucking in some tips and stuff as we go through, but I'm kind of assuming that you've seen the Chris playthrough because it was the first one, but I, I won't leave you um I won't leave you completely confused as to how to do some different bits, so don't worry about that. Um, I'll explain anything random that happens and any things that I don't pick up, there is a reason for that which we'll cover in a bit. So at the beginning it's kind of cutscene management. Uh, back down, uh, such camera angles, um, in case you Thanks. didn't know the story of Resident it. Evil, Listen. Jill is the master Something of unlocking, happens. Let's meet up in the and she can unlock things as she is the master of doing that. Right, back to the dining hall. This door you can get through before the transition, so just mash air. You can probably hear that through our mic. It's a decent mic, but you can still hear that. That is because I have the attention span of an eight-year-old child on speed. <laughs> probably going to be saving less as Jill, but I'll tell you where you can save, um, just in case you're scared. Jill can take less hits than Chris by like a long margin. Um, I guess that's just the sexist way of differentiating the characters, but she can for some reason carry more stuff, but I don't see as many pockets as Chris had. So you're going to want to avoid the zombies like this fella around here, which I nearly did because that camera angle gets me every time. We will take the golden arrow, it's absolutely mandatory, you have to take that. You have to take this magazine because you need the bullets, trust me. You have to go this way, and then we'll unlock this door because it'll speed our life up. So this is the upper floor dining room. I grab these daggers. If you ever see a dagger or the batteries as Jill, um, it's the flash grenades as Chris. You want to pick those up um, because they're like a, a get out of um, zombie free card. And we'll either kill the zombie or just stagger him like the daggers will. I'll show you some different tactics for dealing with the zombies later on, but at the moment we're just going to run past them, which you can do by just kind of being near them. Um, the the only diff, well, the only difference physically between Jill and Chris is the, is the carrying and the health, um, but the puzzles are different so don't be fooled if you are playing as Chris and you found this walkthrough don't follow it anymore switch over to the Chris walkthrough because the stuff is different right, so we're going to head down here and we need to pick up a book because this book has a key in it Now when you examine stuff, you have to examine them in the exact same position I'm examining them from, because otherwise your character won't see it, because they don't, <laughs> I don't know, they can't see it. They know not of the back of an object until you show them it. Same with opening books, you have to like look at the crease. do that because I'm an idiot. And we 
heading back into the house because we now actually do have a key that will unlock doors because the key is kept in a book. Straight up to your character's left, your right, and we're going to unlock this door. It did use the mansion key. Well done, Jill. Now we need to cruise into here because we need to drop some stuff off. Um, this hall here is called the U Hall because it's shaped like a U. So if I refer to that, you know what I'm talking about. That piece of wood there we don't need. It's a boring puzzle. It's rubbish. It's basically a map. But you won't need the map if you've got this guide and also you fill in the map as you go anyway. So useless. But not as ridiculous as this puzzle, dog whistle puzzle, puzzle, which is absolutely stupid. You'll find out all about it in a minute. Grab the magazine ammo, and then you need to grab the lighter of all lighters, as denoted by the indentation. The lighter of lighter, so that we can light things. Ignore him. Now this zombie here sometimes pukes on you and if he does then it's great because you can squeeze past him nice and easy. You want to run past him, keep your pace up. If he puts his hands down he's going to puke, if he has his hands up he's going to grab you so he would have grabbed me then. But I'm too quick. Well, that's what the ladies say anyway. More ammo. Literally rolling in bullets. Grab this as well. This lets you burn the zombies. Now we're going to deposit the ink ribbon, the pistol, which you might think is a bold move. It is a bold move, that's how I operate. They call me Mr. Bold. Um, drop that off, you won't be needing it. You will get a shotgun in a second, so don't worry, you haven't got your pants down. Head back out, don't worry about your mate over there. This door you can only traverse a couple of times, and then the doorknob will break. Um, we won't. That won't happen as we play through, um, because you'll be following this guide. But just be aware if you're going to drop stuff off, if you're going to use the save boxes, then you need to know that that's going to happen. Now, one thing you might not know is about the save boxes is that they're magic, and um, they're kind of like these Minecraft enchanted boxes where they will let you put an object in and pick it up from another place. So if you want something to keep, it, it's not stuck in that box. Now the room we've just gone through will kill you if you play as Chris and take this shotgun, but Jill has her white knight, who white knights really hard, called Barry Glitter. I think that's his name. Nope. Um, leave the ink ribbon, you won't need it. Grab the shotgun there, you will. And we'll head through here. Bad things happen. Check this door first. Check this door. We've checked both doors. Oh God! Barry Glitter comes and saves you because he wants you to be part of his gang. Oh, that's a glitch. <coughs> also thought it had crashed them for a moment. I was holding my breath, like, "Oh my God, don't crash!" I'll have to repeat the last five seconds of game again. Right into this room. This is an optional room. You can skip this if if you want. I recommend doing it because it just saves you the amount of time it takes. You are going to get grabbed probably, um, and you get a free dagger basically. So just grab the dagger out there. So we're pretty kitted up. We've got three daggers, so you got three grabs at this point. Um, so we're going to head back into this lovely corridor. We're going to unlock this. Because Jill is the master of unlocking, I might not have mentioned that. She used to be a Jill sandwich, but now she's the master of unlocking. So, I'm going to head outside. Dogs. I think they're mint, but they can't do nothing. Do not pick up any herbs, because they will ruin your inventory space. And I'm trying to do this a specific way. So, if you pick them up, you're basically saying, I don't care about this guy, so you might as well just do it on your own. I won't be offended. Honestly, I don't mind. You do what you want. Right, prepare your anus. Spare pants, activate. There you go. There you go. Straight through. Out the door. Yes, we did use the key. So 
So, art room. That is the little glint there. You don't need it. It is another map that you can just happily ignore. Because we're too cool for school. Bear. More cutscene because Jill loves them cutscenes right down. What? Now we need to head upstairs. Now there's a door that is locked from the other side, which is this one on the left of this door that we're going through. So we're going to have to take a kind of a long way around. But it's the only way, so it is technically the shortest way around. So now we've got this key, we can unlock it. We head to the balcony. This is the dumbest puzzle ever. It might be surpassed by more dumb puzzles in a minute, but this is the one that always sticks in my mind. You need your shotgun because you're going to be um, busting it. a cap into a dog's ass. Stand here. Oh, I get off my nose. I hate dogs. I have passion. Don't worry too much about being ruined by these dogs. Get off. Get off the board, I tire of you. Um, if you can try and kill the one with just the dog collar, then that's great. But if you can't, like I did then, just drop them because Jill is um, weak. So head around here. You can go and unlock that door if you want to. I don't know if that's going to be a regrettable decision, but um, in fact, let's just go back through that way. And we can unlock a door. We can do the same things. And then it says that you don't need this thing anymore, so you might as well just like get rid of it. Um, and then we're gonna. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Right, we're gonna run all the way back around through this one. It's probably gonna waste a few seconds. It's worth unlocking the door, but probably not going. So if you are following this guide, just unlock it and then just squeeze back down. In hindsight, it's probably a little bit quicker. And those herbs that you used over there, I assume you would have got hurt. They've got another two goes in them, so you can't use those later on. Right, so there's a save room down there. We're not going to it yet, though. Right, your mate up here, we are going to drop him because he is a bit annoying now. Wait till he gets close, aim straight <coughs> his head clean off. They need to be a certain distance away, and it's usually just before they grab you, so you have to be quite quick with that one. Um, so you just look, hold up and just shoot them. It's kind of finicky to aim a little bit, but whatevs. Do what you can. Um, head over here. Now this guy's going to wake up really fast. And here's an absolute shocker. Here's a crimson head. So here's one that's not going to be stunned by your pistol. He's going to cause you grief. Now this is a little puzzle that we need to do based on the collar that we've got. So first of all, go to the collar, examine it, press A straight on it, press the switch. There's a coin in it. There's nothing unusual. There is something unusual. You need to rotate it a bit. Which way do you need it? To the arm of it. So it's a key, but it's not a real key. Imitation of a key. Take it. Now the shock has happened. Uh, use your imitation key just to stop the, um, the smashing. Now you 
get yourself a new key. So we have to be quick here because the crimson head will want to smash your face into small pieces of meat. Straight through here. Whoa, dude. Take this opportunity to decapitate this guy as well because this is a very visited corridor. Oh no! Nightmare happened. He's going to be a problem in the future. Great. Never mind. Don't worry about running out of ammo with that just yet. Head straight into the main hall. This is the quickest possible way of um, doing that bit. You can actually go back through the bird hall, but you're going to have to run past the crimson head and the other zombie. So just bear that in mind. Now we can unlock this, and this is why I said don't pick up the herbs and stuff, etc., etc., because we kind of need to pick up a whole bunch of things so we are running out of space now nah, don't grab the magazine grab the dagor Forrest Gump is in the corner Forrest has given up the ghost it's absolutely ridiculous there's some herbs. Oh, yep, yeah, want, want the grenade launcher. I want to avoid going and grabbing any herbs because. That's a magazine. I just panicked them and thought I missed something. up here that you don't need. Oh, Christ. Oh, I thought you could get through the door up here, not mind. Forrest wakes up. Let's go back anyway. I wasn't an idiot, I wasn't a fool. I don't even know what happened basically where I was before you just go out there. I seem to recall you could get through further up. Oh, come on John. Head back anyway. I'm gonna just uh, go over to this U-Haul over here. I'm sure you could get through a door up there. I must have just completely made that up in my mind. Yeah, so the other end there were herbs, but we don't really need them. This is where we're intending to head anyway. Squeeze through here. I'm going to talk to Richard or Dick for short, as I like to call him. Richard! Oh, Richard, oh! What oh, happened? my arm, it's all dingy. Richard's having a shocker, basically. So we have to go and do things now. Come on, game. I don't want to see the map. I know the map. So you have to look at the map for an extended period of time. Press the map button to get rid of it. So we're going to head over to a save room we have not been yet, and now is a decent time to save it. Um, you've done a enough work really, you don't have to feel guilty about saving it here, I'm going to save it anyway and that is going to be the end of this episode when we get there and then the next section we'll kind of move on and we'll give Richard his serum and we'll make sure he's okay and a nice pat on the back and 
have a look at his nasty gash. Okay, gash on the deal. And then we'll have some words with Gary um, Barry Glitter as well. So heading over here. Your man there is down. Um, I've had an absolute shocker with him basically. He's going to come back as a crimson zombie and he's going to give me grief. So what I might need to do is go and burn his corpse before we save it, which is going to waste time, but I'll show you how to do it just at the end of this. Now, so we squeeze into the box. It's probably useful information anyway. Fuel canteen. Which of course I didn't fill up, so we're going to he is just going to come back and he's just going to be an absolute horror show for me and he is going to ruin everything in my entire life. So we're going to put this back in, we're going to put the grenades, the chemical rounds in, we're going to keep the shotgun out, we're going to keep the key out and then we just need to grab the ink ribbon to save now pop over to the save. I'll deal with the fact that I've got that stupid zombie on my uh, case, but hopefully you won't have to. And that should be our first save. So in the next game we're going to head back up once we grab the serum, which is on the shelf over here, and then we're going to do a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay guys, thanks for watching. The next part um, will be coming up shortly.